Hey everybody, welcome to the Folk Podcast. Hey y'all, this is Ronald and I'm here with my co-host Sam, aka Entity. But today's episode is very special because we'll be having on professional actor, voice actor Chad L. Coleman, Tyrese in The Walking Dead, Clyde in The Orville, Dennis Cuddy Wise in The Wire, but also the voice of Coach in the video game hit Left for the Two. Thank you so much for coming on, Chad. Um, oh, really, thank welcome. you for having me. Don't forget The Expanse, Fred Johnson. Yeah, there's a, a lot more. There's many more. Corey you did Gray a lot of work. American. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, thanks. Soon to um, have my own podcast, Humble Hollywood with, with oh, Chad. Cool. Yeah. It's a long resume. Right. I'll just okay. check that I, out. I'm not going to interrupt anymore. <laughs> I love podcasts. So. <laughs> what, do want, what, do you, what do you want to roll out with? Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chad, uh, do you do theater? Yes, I do. I started in theater. I was, okay. I was, uh, when I started, uh, Let's not reference the year, but you'll know. I mean, you know how old I am. Um, that was the dream. The dream was Broadway. Uh, I wasn't even thinking about film or television. Yeah, I was thinking about uh, Broadway because I started in basically high school. I was learning technique, you know, Stanislavski and all of that. Mm. The group theater. I was learning what substitution was, endowment, and... Um, so I did a scene from A Raisin in the Sun, and my teacher was like, son, you're doing a great job of saying it, but it's got to come from here. And he ran his finger in my gut. So I went backstage, mm. and I thought about my foster parents. I came back and did the scene and had an out-of-body experience. So that was it. I was hooked by the time I was 15 years old. And okay. everybody was like, oh, my God, how did you do it? Tears and everything. Yep. <laughs> Actually, uh, uh- can you confirm that uh, you're you're 47, yeah? No, I'm not going to confirm I'm 47, I'm 55, man. You know how to be man, that. that's what I was thinking about, because on, on your official yeah, Wikipedia said, man, page... Man, black don't crack. <laughs> on, your, on your official Wikipedia page, it says you're 47. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, you're, you're 55, yeah? I am. I'm like the old speed limit, you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> You wouldn't know. I know you wouldn't know. Yeah, I wasn't able to tell. Wikipedia yeah. said 47. Man, I wasn't able to tell. There you go. <laughs> cool. Well, um, I'm just curious, like, you know, so you started with theater. Um, were you mostly, so besides theater, were you mostly interested in, like, doing on-camera roles or just perhaps you had, you know, voiceover in mind? No, I, I wasn't. I only got interested in, well, I did a PBS show. Are you guys uh, familiar with public broadcast television? Uh, so it's a station that's all about education. So hmm. I did an, an education an educational program uh, one one time about kids dealing with computers and stuff. That was cool, but I still was unlocked into it. You know, I um, it was all about being on the stage. It was all about doing the play. The play was the thing. Um, and then when I, um, I spent some time in the military and I was studying with a woman named Vera Katz, a uh, little Jewish lady, the best professor at Howard, as far as I'm concerned. And mm -hmm. she's the one that said, you ever thought about television as well? And, um, she kind of thought I was handsome. <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I, maybe as I'd custom, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I might be a little handsome. So uh, she told me that. And then um, once I got it to New York and started to pursue my career, it was a no-brainer with commercials and, uh, and television. Yeah, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. and, and television and film. But I was mixing all of them theater, film, and television, and with commercials, and, and plays. Right, right. So you said you got into this whole theater thing, right? So do you think a theatrical background is important to voice actors or actors on camera? Oh, I do. Anytime you have to work at a craft, when you, anytime you have to interpret language, anything you can do that has you doing that, it's going to work in your favor as far as interpreting the language of a script, a game, whatever. So, yeah, mm. I do. 
Okay, well, I believe we can move on to the Orville section. Um, so you play uh, the civilian Mark on Clyden, who is a pretty interesting character in my opinion. So how does the process of you getting into character goes like? Perhaps any, you know, methods of preparing? Uh, again, uh, my approach is to play it like Shakespearean. Mm -hmm. So mm. that that's what that's the secret sauce that that a lot of other guys don't realize. So I could very well be saying soft to you a word or two before you go. <laughs> I have done the state some service and they know it no more of that. So that's Shakespearean, that's Othello, right? So that's the technique uh, and as far as the approach to Clyden. And the rest obviously is the prosthetics. And then mm, yeah, you yeah. have <laughs> Rocky Road. I will have Rocky Road. Indeed. Yeah. What accent did you use for him? Actually, <laughs> that was funny. I didn't. It's a Shakespearean, like it's just. It's, uh, yeah, okay. It's, yeah, just a Shakespearean, Shakespearean kind of style of right. Yeah, style in vernacular too, like you know the you know Correct. the words and you know Shakespearean yeah, words and stuff like that. Yeah, they don't contract. He he won't say I can't. He will say I cannot. I cannot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He won't say he's he's coming through the door. He'll say he is. And then when you don't, Seth will remind you. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you know, aliens, you know, aliens, they just, they're, they're basing their English off of the dictionaries and, you know, whatever courses they take. So that's exactly right. Yeah. It's not his language. It's not his first language. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Right. Um, do you remember working on the set with uh, the little Topa? Um, you oh, know. yeah, yeah. Now, hey, which one? You know, there's more than one. There's two. Yeah. And yeah. how, so, yeah, but I mean, the baby Topa, how was that? The baby Topa. Uh, wait a minute. Okay. The, the youngest one, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that young man is, is, is amazing. Not the baby, baby. <laughs> the baby, baby, I would throw him around like a football. <laughs> <laughs> hey, catch, catch this. Um, no, but that young man, I believe his name was Blessing, and uh, he was incredible. He he was he was so talented and just fun to be around. Very smart, great parents, you know. Yeah, he was he was wonderful. Mm. Okay, and uh, what experience did you gain from you know working with Seth MacFarlane and the others? Uh, I gained the experience of Seth MacFarlane being my friend for real. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and and him blowing my mind, uh, complimenting my work, um, and him just being an all around nice guy, and to watch him man this whole thing, bro, it, it's pretty amazing. Cool as a cucumber, um, <laughs> doesn't suffer fools greatly, uh, but a master collaborator, and uh, the type of dude that you just you you just when you go to work, that guy's in your corner. And that guy's like excited and giddy like a little kid. He loves what he does. He's very, very passionate and he's very, very supportive. So, yeah. That's great but to hear. Watching him, like this is a leader. It's not only the product. It's like, how does he relate to people? How does he deal with pressure? Mm. And, the, and the dude gets an A, you know, you, you can check it all off. I never seen this dude have a meltdown ever, yeah. ever. So, and I'm not, I'm not, playing uh blowing smoke man I'm, I'm telling you the honest truth and just uh, uh willing to listen willing to allow you to try things but i can tell you he's very clear about what he's looking for and um mm. great director great notes very on it he can tell you one word and and then you'll and you'll get the scene so right he's also awesome. very cool well Funny too you know He's funny, isn't he? Yeah, he is, yeah. But he's on. not on all the time. He, don't, yeah. he doesn't do that. He is himself. You know, some guys can't help but clown and, and, and be, be committed all the time when they have that, you know, when they, when they have that ability. But, no, he's in no way, shape, or form that way. He's a real person. He's right there with you. Yeah. He always seemed like a really, you know, authentic kind of guy. Um. But uh, yeah, so season three of Orville is coming up in, uh, in March. Um, what, what can we, can you say anything about like, you know, what can we expect in season three? I can tell you that it's going to be epic. I can tell you mm, that. We'll take that, uh, we'll take that. Yeah, it, 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 it goes, it goes, goes 
further. Everything that you thought was awesome, just blow it up times two. Um, you're gonna see me do some work that's gonna it's gonna shake you, brother. It's gonna it's gonna show you part of what I've been talking about. And uh we we you know, we've hinted at it and I have had some dramatic moments, but you also going to see some serious uh <laughs> knee knee slapping comedy, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah part because I get to do both, you know, and very seldom does the pendulum swing that far for yeah. character? So yeah, mm, that's exciting. I'm excited for it. it I'm definitely gonna. It should be. I'm telling you right now, it is going to be unreal. Just off the charts with every aspect of it. Everything you liked about it, you know. Imagine mm. you like donuts. Well, I'm getting ready to stack up five or six of them for you. Oh, it might have okay. been <laughs> <number> <laughs> one. It's like and you know. Now, you up, you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you what two donuts with a hamburger in the middle. <laughs> that sounds very coach. That sounds like they the coach a little bit. That sounds like the I coach. Know, yeah, that does sound like coach. I, I agree with you on that one. Yeah. But guess what? We are our instrument, right? Exactly. So there are gonna yeah. be times when you're gonna hear that character because we play the Ooh. notes too, and some of those notes are my own. Wow, so you're saying we're gonna see a little bit of coach in there, you know? Maybe no, not like that. No, maybe <laughs> there maybe is some you know, food theme has to be in Clyde. So <laughs> no, like I mean, you got no. those replicators, those food replicators. You can do anything you want with those. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but hey, if Coach had a food replicator, it would be over. It'd be over. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Bro, he that would, would be bro. Out of the room. Worlds would collide. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. He'd never come out of the room, man. That is so I funny. mean, oh my it God. would be food that kill him, not the zombies. Exactly. Uh, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Maybe that's at the end of the tunnel. That's the end of the tunnel for him in the zombie apocalypse. Um, oh, right. Yeah, very cool. Um, yeah, so you know what? I think I think we can talk about, you know, speaking of zombies, I think we can talk about The Walking Dead a little bit, if that's cool. Um, oh, yeah, man. That's so, cool. yeah, I mean, I grew up watching The Walking Dead when I was in middle school. Maybe I shouldn't have been watching The Walking Dead then, but, you know, it is what it is. But um, here, he goes, here he goes trying to make me feel old. All yeah, right. hey, hey. Uh, I, 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 I feel you, I, like you was in middle school. <laughs> <laughs> now yeah. i'm 20 i'm 22 i'm not that old though so that probably shouldn't make oh, it yeah, you say me just my daughter all right i could oh. be your father now son yes sir, i don't yes, even sir. know what i would tell you uh, <laughs> stop <laughs> watching the walking dead exactly don't like that yeah, yeah. No, I would. why are you not sleeping there <laughs> <laughs> yeah your, your bedtime's at nine and i believe nine was actually like what like the time when it came Oh, yeah, yeah, on Sunday. Yeah. It's as a school yeah. night. I should be going to sleep for Christ's sake. Oh, I like that. Wait, oh, I didn't know. You you do voiceovers? I do. I do. I do. I That's mean, awesome. um, yeah, I'm good. involved in in, in uh, some projects. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> I involve myself in acting and in voice acting, and that's just oh, kind awesome, of brother. something fun. Yeah, because I heard it clearly as soon as you said that. You know who one of my best friends is? <laughs> What's that? Mike Henry. You know who Mike Henry is? Mike Henry. <sighs> Used to be the voice of Cleveland. Oh yeah, Cleveland Brown from Family Guy. Oh yeah, okay. Yes. No, yeah. But so he created that character on Family Guy, and then they had the spinoff yeah. show for Ooh. years. Yeah, right. But he had to, you know, the, he had to step down. He had to yeah, step. yeah. That's awesome. That is, yeah. I, I I I seem to like switch between accents sometimes. Sometimes I just kind of go over the top. Sometimes, but you know. It, it's, I guess it's just for variety sake. Don't worry. It's all right. Say what you want to say. It's all right. It sounds like an Australian. Is it? Uh, yeah, so, so it's Australian and, 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 and English. And a little bit of all. <laughs> What's up, dude? You know, something like that. <laughs> a little bit of everything. Uh, okay, I'm stuck now. Go. <laughs> hey, it's I love it. hey, we we could do accents all day, but maybe another time. But you know, whenever <laughs> uh, we can hit each other up on that. But The Walking Dead. So yeah, yeah so as a you know, I grew up watching it. I loved season like I love season one through three and four, and that's when you know you were in um, you were in season three and four. Um, three, four, five. In five, were you in five too? 
Yeah, okay. I've I, it's been a lot since epic, that is my epic death in five. Yeah, you died in season five. Dang. Yeah, I, I it's been a long time since I've seen season five. Um yeah. but yeah, what is um but yeah, I I just remember loving loving those the the, the earlier seasons basically. Um Absolutely. And that you have and to that, be and, you know, once Negan once they kind of once they kind of overdosed on Negan, everybody started pining for the days of three, four, and five. No, exactly. Yeah. I, I was yeah. pining for that. I missed it. Like I even have like, you know, grown up with it. I even had nostalgia for it. That made me pine for it even more, honestly. Exactly. Mm. That, that yeah. happened to a lot of people. And they did. And they went back and they got Angela Kang, the amazing Angela Kang, who's the showrunner now. They went back and got her because she was responsible for a lot of that tone and flavor and type of story like tone. the earlier atmosphere yes. yeah that that was such a beautiful time yeah like that atmosphere like really gets to me at least i can say i can say for myself um oh, yeah but yeah so i'm like you know i'm curious like you know what is the most memorable scene that you did you know when you in your tenure in the walking dead oh uh, my death scene it, it was it yeah. was the grove first the grove scene where um where the little girls where um Melissa McBride, uh, Carol said, "Right, Carol, look at the flowers and the scene that she and I had when she revealed that she had killed Karen. Uh, um, yeah, it was that first, and then after that, uh, it uh, my death my death episode topped it, just not by much because I love Greg Nicotero and uh, Satrasimus, Mike Satrasimus, uh, and Satrasimus was the a DP." And then his first opportunity to direct was the Grove episode. And it was amazing. We we had an amazing time. And Melissa McBride is, she is the queen. She is, she is the ultimate actress. Ooh. And her storyline and her arc was uh, incredible. So uh, those two episodes definitely uh, stand out most for me. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's so much. I mean, all the stuff. With Rick and 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 yeah. you know and Rita's, uh, with that fight scene, that was that was a hell of in a the, fight scene in the prison. Yeah, 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 in yeah. The prison, yeah. God, yeah, yeah, that was you know, you, that. Yeah, that the emotion jumped out, of, jumped out of the car and just went buck wild on all those uh, walkers. That was a hell of a scene. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, stuff with me. It's everything with Sasha. You know, Sonequa yeah. Martin Green. Yeah, come on. Just stand up and applaud. That's excellent. yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Mm -hmm. She's great too. She's amazing. Yeah. Everyone in that show. All of you are great. Yeah, definitely. All of you. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's a, it's a it's a hell of a bunch of folks for sure. Yeah. For yeah, sure. that's for sure. So, Chad, how do you think Tyrese would have, you know, handled Negan and the Saviors if he was still alive? Well, you know what, bro? Come on. I mean, Negan is um, the governor times two. So, yeah. Uh, you know, he didn't fare too well with <laughs> the governor. I mean, but that was in the comic, um, you know. Yeah. Uh, but but how it would have fared, man? I mean, I would have just I would have I would have put that ham on his. Ass. <laughs> 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 he thought he, he smashed them boys heads in like that. Boy, I would man, I would have came with that hammer. Boy, I would have rained down something on him, man. I tell you, know, I would have loved to go against that bat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And you probably, brother. See, you got to realize they do write this stuff. So. They do. <laughs> Look, if we were going to go truthfully, <laughs> <laughs> they just got to write it. If we were going to go realistic, you know, I would have whooped readers <laughs> and Lakers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, brother. It would have happened. They would have been all over that prison. But story wise, he got to pound me out after I gave him a, a little taste of something. So, you know. That, yeah. that's, I think I would have went. I would have did my best to take Negan out for sure. Yeah, maybe, maybe you. Would, yeah, maybe you would have like you know named your hammer like what whatever name you would have named it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like he had his all <laughs> bat. What was the bat, Lucille? Lucille, Lucille yeah. What yeah. would you name yeah. your hammer? <laughs> Wow, Tyrone, God dang it. Dude, <laughs> I love it. No, I'm you so down with it. Look, and I would have said, I would have said, you got to call Tyrone. Oh, oh bro, I am so down. That's oh, perfect. Bro, that's going to be in a fan fiction like tomorrow. Yeah. How about that? I love it. I love yeah. it. Let's get it going, man. I'm with it, please. Bro, the, the Walking Dead cinematic, like, multiverse. Hey, bro, if we 
could get something viral out of this, wouldn't that be good? <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. That would be yeah. Very but cool. I mean, I mean, man, you died the lamest way possible. I mean, that's what people say, bro. Yeah, I don't believe that at all. I, I, I tell you honestly, yeah. um, when do you see, especially, and I'm not making it by race, I am an African American. Mm -hmm. How many times do you see an African American male with power and vulnerability like that? And that, okay, no, he's not on the all oh, save everything, you know, uh, Black Panther, or, you know, he's a, He's an amazing mix of, of vulnerability, bro. Uh, I love mm. that. I, I love playing that. And and he, man, the dude could take a hammer and smash your face in yeah. and then just feel the most vulnerable for his family and people. So I love that. And I thought the episode was totally apropos for the man he was. Like, if you never saw the show and you watched that one episode, you get who Tyrese is. Yeah, no, I absolutely get that. Yeah, I think it. I think it was. I think in that case it was appropriate. I wanted to. I'm sorry, I'm going to cut you off, but you, what you said, bro. Yes, a lot of people have said that, and mm -hmm. um, you know, I've had mm -hmm. to punch a lot of people. You're lucky we ain't in the same. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, me personally, I don't know. I I thought it was. I thought it was. I thought it was good, you know. Um, but yeah, there, there's some people that say that, but you know, I, it is what it is, you know. And, you know, from an acting perspective, I think it was very yeah. The played. acting perspective, yeah. And maybe people were just going yeah. off of like yeah, the, no, no, how, no, come on. Everybody how has a right to their opinion, and everybody yeah uh, has different aesthetics that they feel. It, it makes sense. It's not a problem. Not going to take that away from anybody. But you know, of course, I I played it, so you know, there's a certain level of personal like in there. And I know when I read it, well, actually. When Scott told me the story, when he called me in to say, this is it, bro, I thought he was joking, yeah. and I was laughing, yeah. and then he started yeah. tearing up, oh. and I was like, oh, shoot, this is real, oh, yeah. and I just started saying, okay, probably about 35 times, and I'm like, okay, yeah. okay, mm -hmm. okay. Do you and think he could he have said, been saved? Uh, of course he could have. Of course he could have, but those are things that I'm not going to go into and open up Pandora's box on that. It's all good. It's all love. I have amazing memories and I made an impact. I'm talking to you guys today. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. But you know what else made a big impact? Um, so what is that one voiceover role that you think stands out the most out of all? Uh, I, I coach, right? Hell yeah, it is, Coach. Yeah, and uh, coach all the way, yeah. And that's again, yeah. like I said, <laughs> it's been a minute since I did that. It's but been a long time. Died. So you know, yeah. when things are really, really good, they have a staying power that you know that other things don't. So uh, yeah, people have always come up to me and say that, and even like the wire is the same kind of stuff. I've been fortunate to be in the type of work that has staying power, longevity. So that's a good thing. Mm. Yeah, Did you I'll, actually channel yeah. in some of Coach to Tyree's character? Yeah, I think so. Sure. Uh, with all the, when, man, when it's time to get down, that's some Coach-like stuff for sure, right? Yeah. Yeah, pretty sure. Yeah. You had the experience with, uh, you know, being in some sort of zombie apocalypse, except, uh, you know, the zombies don't run in The Walking Dead. Um, that's right. Yeah. Um, and Tyrese ain't always hungry. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, he's yeah, definitely. Tyrese, Tyrese wasn't a foodie for sure. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't a foodie. <laughs> he, 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 yeah, there's there was no no sort of like food replicators in The Walking Dead either. That's um, right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um. Yeah, that's so cool. How you know, like you had like you know those both experiences of playing like you know a character that you know both characters were in the zombie apocalypse, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, and there, there's a little, yeah, I agree that there's some similarity in a way, you know what I mean? Yeah. They're yeah. both very warm, kind. They were, they were big men that are warm and kind. Uh, yeah. I, I like that. Until yeah. you, until you piss them off. And then, exactly. Uh, yes. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. true. It's true. Do you, um, 
remember anything from that time uh recording for left for dead you know um if we're just gonna go into the topic uh, left for dead for a second. yeah oh man i just remember having stacks and stacks of scripts and for sure. i remember i remember um that i had to record some of it while i was in um where um, um where was i uh let me get it uh um where the nobel prize comes from i was in um i'm spacing on it at the moment but um it's the place where the nobel prize comes from so it's it's not um it's the right next door to like um oh god i don't know why i'm spacing on this right oh, now but see. um it's not sweden it's next door to it's next door to um uh, sweden Norway. i was in norway norway yeah, okay. okay okay yeah yeah, yeah. I was in Norway. I had I had to go to a recording studio in Norway because I was working on a mini series there, mm. and I had to do some work over there. I remember that. Um, and otherwise, it's just it's a heck of a lot of work. I know that. Oh, it's a for heck of sure. A lot, a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, I mean... It took us a while to get all that, you know, because repetition, repetition. You have to say it, you know, in every respect to the options of the game. So yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember being exhausted many times. I bet, yeah. And I'm sure for the rest of the cast, too, because, you know, there's people that play, have played Left 4 Dead 2 for thousands of hours. I played it. I haven't yeah. played, I haven't played it for that long. I, I used to play a lot as a kid. Um, but, mm. uh, you know, Ron, I know Ronald probably has a couple thousand in that game. And, you yeah. know, <laughs> um, the point is is that like you know even after so long you can still people that have played the game for a while have like heard voice lines that they have never heard before like for after years like there's so many yeah. lines that people like discover wow that's well he, he this is a coach line i've never heard before right right so, yeah awesome. i like that yeah yeah i'm sure there's a lot of work there's so many lines in that one um, oh no question about it you could you could go from the floor to the ceiling with scripts yeah yeah and how was your you know experience working with valve are they cool oh, I love them. they were very cool yeah those guys were very cool very laid back easy breezy yeah, yeah. i was hoping to do other stuff with them I'm still available guys let me know yeah <laughs> and then they do something with um uh what did they merge uh a little piece of um, Left for Dead with some other game or something. Oh, yeah, Resident that. Evil, I believe. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah, that's what happened. Yeah. Right. I was a thousand percent clear because no one ever asked me to um, re record anything or anything like that. Oh, they just reused the old lines, I suppose. That's right. Yeah, yeah. that's what happened. You know? Yeah. Well, my money. Yeah, yeah, seriously, <laughs> I would love to. I ain't seen no money, man. It, it, it would have been great to have you back in Resident Evil. I guess they they oh weren't God, really. I would love that. That would have been huge, man. Yeah, like. But I'd like to do more. I hope that, you know. I'm telling them, like, hey, bring it on. I, you, uh, yeah. Because you want to have that connection with the younger audience. You always want to have. That. Yeah. So I believe been... you would return back to Left 4 Dead 2 if asked, or three. If, if asked, if the, if they do three. a new one, yes, I would. I would most definitely do it. Yeah. yeah. Maybe there'll be a three. I don't know if you heard of the Back for Blood game, but that's like a a new zombie game that's inspired yeah. by Left 4 Dead. Have you heard of that? That's right. Yes, I've heard of that. Someone was telling me about that. I don't know, you know, I know very little about it, but yeah. yeah same. I was hoping I, that yeah. that would, I mean, I, believe me, it is fun doing it. Even though it is exhaustive work, it is fun because I mm. love doing voice stuff for sure. Mm. Yeah, it would have been cool to have you in there though. You know, I'm back for a yeah. while, but yeah, you know, that you know, we could be yeah. here all day about that. <laughs> exactly, this is true. Yeah, um, but so yeah, um, Chad, you, you certainly have you know a, certainly have like a huge you know a huge fan base behind you, right? Um, yeah. So you know, do you remember like you know the the voice and specific dialect you used for him? And um, if so, do you actually remember uh, any lines that really stuck out to you? Um. What no, it's been too long. Um, but yeah. all, the most famous thing is that he said was they called me coach. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, yeah it is an iconic line, not like the, the cheeseburger yeah. apocalypse line. Oh, like I love that stuff, but I can't remember. 
You yeah. know, and they, I know he said something like, "This used to be a nice, nice neighborhood. neighborhood." Yeah, yeah, because yeah, like, yeah. that was in like the trailer. That. Yeah, yeah. I believe cinematic. you used like a southern kind of dialect for That's him. Correct. It was it was more uh, kind of New Orleans. Yeah, New Orleans, New Orleans. Yeah, draw to it. Yeah. Something cool yeah. is they were that game like a one level or like one campaign in that game takes place in Savannah, Georgia, where I'm from. So it always excites That's right. me. Yeah. <laughs> It, exactly, like, because exactly. like you know, like whenever, like I played uh, <laughs> that, and like you know, I was playing through that that Savannah campaign level or the campaign, and I was like, bro, this is just like my home, my home city, you know. So that was really yeah. cool to, to they, see. They, yeah, they're repping you, bro. They were, oh, yeah, yeah they're be proud of that. Exactly. They're yeah. repping me. I love, I love. They're repping Savannah. It was so cool to see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was cool. They had some attention and um and uh in savannah so stay hydrated you too sam yeah, yeah let me get my tea real quick brother. yeah so uh in the meantime so uh, chad you were nominated for outstanding performance in, in a drama lead for left for Dead 2 back in 2010 uh so uh, do you remember that no no one ever told me that okay <laughs> <laughs> no one ever say that again man you were nominated, you know. What? And what was it? For, what was the awards uh, ceremony? Um, uh, I believe it was uh, uh, some video game trade reviewers, um, national oh something. Yeah, for uh, coach. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll have my assistant uh, look that up and let's track that down because I got to put that in my bio. Yeah. It is on IMDb. That's how I know about it. Oh, okay, well, let me go. I gotta go look. I didn't know that. That's interesting. You shall look. I'm, I'm like um, uh, Johnny Carson. I did not know that. <laughs> <laughs> How close is the you know role of coach to your heart? Oh, big time, yeah, for sure. I, I just, he was a warm dude, man. You know, just a very likable. Not not again, very much like myself. I think most times. Um, uh, mm. th- that's the part that appealed to me the most that he was just a very kind and relatable character people is somebody that you can hang out with yeah he's a very kind of light-hearted guy and um I, I also say that character i think a lot of people would agree with me um when i you know if i say that you know a uh, coach was definitely the leader of that whole group um in, yeah. in that cast yeah. you know and with ellis yeah. and rochelle and nick yeah yeah um, and, and, and truthfully, Tyrese was supposed to be the leader for yeah. for his time there, you know. But you know, some people jockey for position on me, but I'm I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I came out all right. You know, I came yeah. out all right. Do you know Do you know some of the a- other other actors actually from Left 4 Dead? Uh, Rochelle you know, Ates, I suppose. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Rochelle is amazing, beautiful young lady. I don't see her much, but yeah, I, I, I do know her. She's the one I know personally. I don't think I, I don't know the others. Oh, you do know her. That's cool. I do know her. Yeah, yeah, I know her. She's yeah. Totally know her. She's, she's fierce. I love her. It's interesting. Her she's yeah. Gorgeous. Too. She's gorgeous. <laughs> she's gorgeous. Yeah, it was interesting to like find out that her name. Sort of a little like, a sort of a little like Sasha, you know? Yeah. Oh, for, that's such an that interesting. Role. Oh, uh, yeah, the little sister. Yeah. 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 I remember. Yeah, yeah for, sure. That part for sure. I think she might have read for me. I mean, not, I mean, I think Sonequa may have read for that part too. For, for Rochelle. Rochelle yeah, that Rochelle got. You know, uh, Sonequa might have. I think she might have read for uh, Left 4 Dead. That would be really cool that's to actually cool. look into I and like so. see. If we have her on the podcast, which I think would be yeah. really cool, we should definitely ask yeah. her about that. Um, well, I'll give her, I'll give you guys a great review for, her, you know. And, okay, cool. Yeah, thanks, awesome. man. Yeah, we appreciate we'll, that. We'll yeah. Have a great experience. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that would be cool. Um, yeah, yeah uh, I would say we could probably get to the final question for Left 4 Dead Two. Um, mm-hmm. Now, this is interesting. I don't think anyone actually saw this question coming. <laughs> Um, if I may yeah. have the honor to ask, but uh, what do you think his name is, or what would you name him, Coach? What what, what do you think Coach's name is? Oh, Coach's real name. Um, wow. When I look at him, I think he would say, "How you doing? I'm Wendell Jones." 
<laughs> Actually, um, uh, to point this out, many people think, or well, they gave him this name, Darnell Coleman. His face oh. model named Darnell and and you know Chad Coleman. So Donald. Okay, Coleman. got it. Oh, I get it. Okay, because my brother's name is Donald Coleman. So ah, okay. But I was kind of uh, vibing off of Wendell Pierce, the actor Wendell Pierce, mm -hmm. and uh, and and uh, childhood friend Eric Jones. And mm -hmm. there's something about Wendell Pierce warm, his warmth, and you know the way Coach comes off. That remain made me think of him, and he's a fantastic actor and friend as well. Yeah, I think a lot of people, definitely, would, a, a lot of fans of Left for Dead would uh really, um, you know, think that's really cool. You know, putting a name, putting Wendell Jones, you know, and especially uh, pu putting a name Wendell Jones on Coach, and you know, right? It's, um, it's uh, hey, Coach Wendell Jones. Yeah, I like Coach. It. Coach, mm. that's cool. That's cool. That's a great. That's a great name for him. I think that actually fits really yeah. well. Yeah. And to wrap this up, Chad, um, I have two lines over here from Left 4 Dead 2 that I can play you. Would you, yeah. you know, reenact them? Absolutely. Go for That's, it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Pretty great, honestly, in my opinion. Well, let, okay. Oh, excuse me! Excuse me! Excuse me! <laughs> excuse me! <laughs> okay. And uh, we have the second one. I hope, hopefully, you'll you'll remember it. I found a burger tank in this place. I'm gonna be a one man cheeseburger apocalypse. Do it. <laughs> 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 oh my God. You can't do it. <laughs> we all gotta it calm again. down. Play it again. Play it. Right away. God, that's the cherry on top. We. <laughs> Play it again, play it again, play it again. I found a burger tank in this place. I'm gonna be a one man cheeseburger apocalypse. I found a burger tank in this place. I'm gonna be a one man cheeseburger apocalypse. <laughs> exactly, man. Exactly. You made millions of people happy in an instant. Good. You have yeah, made man. About mil oh, maybe billions hey, of people. What's better than that, bro? Cause right, because I'm doing it live and it's not the animated game. Exactly. Oh God, there you go, guys. That's what you were after. Thank you. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Put it out there, bro. Right? Put it out there. Send me something. Send me something to um send me something to put on IG, you know? With we'll both send you character, the the animated character and me saying it. You know what I mean? No, no, yeah. we, we have the screen. we have the technology, we have the talent. Chad, okay. we'll do it for you. We'll we'll we'll, we'll get awesome. somebody. Yeah, to make a, we got a, you covered. A source yeah, filmmaker. Screen and they're both saying it at the same time. And uh, do you think Coach would have anything to say about the Vogue podcast? I think these boys are a blast on the Vogue podcast. Mm -hmm.